So this part of the video, again, it's the same day as my other videos. Um, I'm just doing the multiple videos that I don't, so you guys can actually find them easier, I guess. So one of the issues is the coolant hose that's connected to the gas, the, the valve cover gasket itself. So not the gasket, but you know, the head of it that I need to replace from the beginning. So in order to get to, I need to take out the coolant reservoir tank. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. That's going to be a mini video. Um, just for those of you guys who need to do it and straight to the point. So let me show you guys. All right. So the first thing you should do is just take off the cap. Um, it just releases all the pressure and lets all the coolant go down. I would also drain all my coolant before I do this. And then I'll just grab any pliers, get it in there. It's like in between, pull it up. And basically a clamp like this should come out. You don't have to take it all the way out. I kind of, I don't know if I broke this one from the bottom one down there, but I mean, you just pull it up and it comes out. And then once you get it out, see if it'll focus. You just pull it on out, it comes out like that. You can easily replace, replace this hose if that is your issue. But uh, if that's not your issue and your reservoir is your issue, there's two more bolts right there and one more a hose down there. What I'm going to do is take out these two bolts and then unplug the hose. Yeah, so what I'm using is a ratchet and a size 10 head uh, to get these two bolts out. Uh, once I get these two bolts out, I'll show you guys um, how I take it out after that. I want you to take out both screws so I can get it to focus. You literally just grab your expansion tape and it comes right out and there's one last hose connected to it. I would take off the clamp and then start pulling that hose out. Alright okay, guys, so I got the coolant reservoir out. Um, there was this cable connected to it right there and then that last hose. I disconnected both of those two screws and the one hose that was connected up here. Once you do that, it comes straight on out. Alright guys, so that was just a very, very short video. Um, I'm going to be pushing out a couple of the videos this week. I'm just doing little, little parts. Um, so you guys, if you need to find something specific, it's straight to the point. So uh, let me know if you kind of like videos like this. And I'm planning on doing some vlogs. So let me know if you guys like want to see videos like that. So yep, this is a short video. I'm going to do a hose uh, video right now and a couple of the small ones. So if you guys didn't enjoy this video, smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy You know